From giant underwater creatures to ships that have gone missing, here are the top five submarine discoveries that were never supposed to be seen by anyone. Number five on this list is the deep sea anglerfish. The New York Times writes, in 2016, a half mile down, Kirsten and Joachim Jacobson were returning to the surface in their submersible when they spotted a female angler resplendent with bioluminescent lights as Science Magazine described the fish. It was later identified as a fan fin sea devil, a ghoul of of the deep with a bushy lure. Now this is just one instance where a submarine has seen these guys before, but it's happened tons of times to be honest. These fish are very rare, but when you get to that depth, you're able to spot them. This fish placed fourth on Strange List's top 10 dangerous fish where they write, the dangerous fish besides being on this top 10 most dangerous fish should also be in the top 10 world's ugliest fish. It lives in deep waters, especially in the depths of the Atlantic and Antarctic oceans. The main characteristic of this fish is his mode of predation because it has a fleshy growth from his head that acts as a lure and at the tip of this lure there's a luminous trap that it uses to attract prey and then devours them. Lastly, despite being small, he has the ability to expand his jaw and stomach to eat even bigger animals than it. Now I know that fourth might be a bit of a stretch in my opinion, but these guys are definitely dangerous to eat. If humans had one, then it's said to be very poisonous. The biggest characteristic of these things that I think is to everyone is just how how freaking ugly they are and I mean I just don't think that they should be spotted by anyone. Number four on this list is crop circles. Usually when we think of crop circles, we think of circles in farms and stuff like that caused by aliens. We typically don't consider there to be crop circles underwater. Well, that's exactly what we have in this one. Earth Sky writes, of course these seafloor circles have nothing to do with crops, but they are intricate circles reminiscent of the elaborate crop circles that sometimes turn up in farmers' fields. Japanese photographer Yoji Ukata captured some photos on a dive near Amanami Yoshima at the southern tip of Japan. He said the rippling geometric sand patterns are nearly 6 feet in diameter and almost 80 feet below sea level. Now at first, people were pretty frightened. What the heck could these things be? What's causing this? Are we looking at some type of alien occurrence or some type of intelligent sea life that we never even knew about? These were the questions that were circling around for quite some time. We have, however, found out the answer and it's definitely less scary but probably reinforces even more the fact that we weren't supposed to see it. Puffer Fish. Puffer fish are the cause of this phenomenon, which would be super cool. The reason that they're doing it is because they're actually banging. <laughs> well, they actually use eggs to mate, but this is where they mate. Apparently, the female really loves some good ridges, so the male makes them in the ground and it attracts the female here. I'll definitely take this over aliens, but I still probably didn't need to see it. Number three on this list is a frilled shark. A frilled shark might be the scariest fish in the entire ocean. Regular sharks are scary, there's no doubt about it, but they also have a cool quality to them, which makes a lot of people admire them. These sharks are just flat out terrifying, and considering they reside at the bottom of the sea, you have a good chance of spotting one if you're in a submarine. The frilled shark is a strange, prehistoric looking shark that lives in the open ocean and spends much of its time in deep, dark waters far below the sea surface. Its long, cylindrical body reaches lengths of nearly 7 feet, and its fins are placed far back on the body. The frilled shark gets its name from the frilly appearance of its gill slits. Frilled sharks are active predators and may lunge at potential prey, swallowing it whole, even if it's quite large. Their normal swimming style, however, is distinctly eel-like, as they swim in a serpentine fashion. The preferred prey of the frilled shark is squid, and they have several rows of long teeth, each with three long points that are perfect for snagging the soft bodies of this prey. Though they specialize on squids, frilled sharks are known to eat a variety of fishes and also other sharks. And don't think that just because they like squids doesn't mean that they wouldn't try a human. If you're swimming down there and looking scrumptious, I can guarantee these guys would love to take a bite if they could. Great white and tiger sharks are scary enough. I have no interest in seeing the prehistoric version of those guys.
Number two on this list is the MV Derbyshire. MV Derbyshire was a ship that has gone down as the biggest UK ship to ever sink to the bottom of the sea. It's been investigated by submarines before, but this tragic event should probably just be put to rest. Safety for sea rights. On July 11th, 1980, the four-year-old OBO carrier left Quebec, Canada, heading to Kawasaki, Japan, with a cargo of 157,446 tons of iron ore on board. The ship disappeared on the 9th of September, 1980, during Typhoon Orchid under unknown circumstances. Notably, the crew never sent a distress call, although they had reported a severe tropical storm. On September 15th, an official search began to locate the vessel, but ended six days later with no results. The ship was declared lost. The only trace found was a lifeboat seen by the crew of a Japanese tanker in the area six weeks later. The ship wasn't actually found until 1994, 14 years after the actual sinking had occurred. They sent deep water teams to go investigate what could have caused the accident to happen. Quoting Wikipedia here, it was determined that waves crashing over the front of the ship had earlier sheared off the covers of small ventilation pipes near the bow. I'll be honest guys, I don't really know what that means, but clearly it's not very good because it caused this mammoth of a ship to fall to the bottom of the sea, effectively killing all 44 people on board. A horrible tragedy, and even though it needed to be investigated, I certainly wouldn't have wanted to be the one to see it firsthand. And finally, number one on this list is the giant squid. The giant squid is a very dangerous and very scary beast that lurks at the bottom of the ocean. Very few humans ever set their eyes on this beast before because they are so rare and so elusive. Well, imagine not only seeing this squid up close and personal, but imagine it attacking you as well. That's what happened to an actual submarine called the Greenpeace submarine in the Bering Sea. The Bering Sea is in between Russia and Alaska, and it's just the perfect place for a giant animal like this to be lurking. If it's capable of causing any sort of damage or leak to the submarine, then the people inside are probably completely screwed. These beasts can grow up to 13 meters in size. To have two of them like that attacking your ship is not for the best. They chill at the bottom of the ocean because they don't like to be found or messed with, and in my opinion, I think that we should keep it that way. But there you have it, guys. That is our list of the top five submarine discoveries that were never supposed to be seen by anyone. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this list and some other crazy submarine discoveries that you know about. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I'll catch you next time.